Okay, I'm going to learn a little bit about the German political system here. A very brief video. Uh, this is from uh, uh, the Berlesman Foundation, The Evolution of Germany's Political S Spectrum. Uh, please click like, share, subscribe for them as well as for me. Just click on this little thing here down below me and uh, uh, subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. But let's find out about this. The Evolution of Germany's Political Spectrum to mind when you think about political parties. Maybe colors? If you're from the United States, did your state vote red or blue? Well, in the United States, there's actually more than one, two political parties. There's two, just two major parties. Uh, red is Republican, blue is Democrat. Uh, but having said that, um, uh, there's like a Green Party, there's a uh, Libertarian Party, uh, there's other parties there. When you go to vote for president, there's like about six or seven names there. But there's two major political parties, and one's Republican, one's Democrat. Right, left. Or if you're watching me, right. Or maybe it's turning purple. Maybe you Purple means uh, it's between. Wish you had more colors to choose from. Well, unlike the U.S. two-party system, Germany's parliamentary democracy is much more colorful. In fact, around 40 political parties received votes in the 2017 national election. 40 parties, 40 people to choose from, wow. Or maybe this is a parliamentary system, so. Over the years, many parties have come and gone, but in this video, we'll focus on- We won't talk about the one that we def or we all know is come and gone. The parties currently represented in Germany's Bundestag. The Reichstag, I was there actually, uh, back in 2006 in Berlin. It's, it's actually quite, quite easy to find. It's right next to the, uh, not exactly right next to it, but it's pretty close to the train station. The lower house of parliament, and talk a little bit about how they got there. First, there's the Christian Democratic Union, or CDU, and its Bavarian sister party, the Christian Social Union, or CSU. These two Okay, probably moderate right-wingers, I would call. Probably, we would call these guys, I believe, moderate Republicans. Two parties, traditionally working together, represent the center-right of Germany's modern political spectrum. Some of Germany's most famous leaders have represented the CDU, including the country's two longest-serving heads of state, Chancellors Helmut Kohl and Angela Merkel. Mm -hmm. CDU and CSU voters tend to be more conservative when it comes to both economic and civil liberties issues. Yeah, mo moderate Repu we call these moderate Republicans. Another Mitt Romney, I think, would fit in that category. The main party is the Social Democratic Party, or S. Moderate Democrats. PD. Historic. Forgive me, uh, my German uh, watchers. I putting this into American type politics of where I would f these would fit on the spectrum. But these look like, you know, you know di different versions of Republicans and Democrats. This is how I know it. ...known to champion workers' rights, mm -hmm. the SPD represents the center left and is the oldest party in Germany. The SPD enjoyed major success in the 1960s and 70s, producing some of Germany's most consequential chancellors and policy decisions, like Willy Brandt and his Ostpolitik, which improved relations between East and West Germany during the Cold War. In addition to Germany's two traditional parties, the Green Party, or simply the Greens, have become... And there's a Green Party in the United States as well. It doesn't get a lot of votes, but um, I think it has the same characteristics of probably what I would imagine the Green Party in Germany is. These are the environmentalists, the people who uh, want, uh, uh, who are very green, want, want green technologies and things like that. You know, very... Uh, uh, environmentally conscious. Um, a constant fixture in German politics. The Green Party evolved out of environmentalist, anti-nuclear, and anti-war protest movements in the 1970s. The protest movement turned political party still focuses primarily on combating climate change, but has also expanded its platform to become a mainstream center-left party. Its popularity nationwide has increased exponentially in recent years, signaling its continued influence on German politics in the future. 
certainly understandable. I'm not sure I would find myself in the in the Green Party. Not that I'm a climate denier or uh, or anything like that, but it's I, I'm not sure I I'm a hundred percent on that on their team. But you know, I, I, their 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 goals are noble. The Free Democratic Party, or FDP, has been a constant fixture of post-war German politics. Commonly referred to as the Liberals, the FDP can perhaps be best compared with the Libertarian Party in the United States. Traditionally, now the Libertarians in the United States, I wouldn't call them liberals, but uh, huh. it served as a decisive partner of either the CDU or SPD to form a majority governing coalition. Similar to the Libertarians across the Atlantic, the laissez-faire FDP tends to be center-right, aligning itself with the CDU on economic issues, but also center-left, aligning itself with the SPD and Greens on civil liberties issues. Yeah, the Libertarians in the United States are, are kind of fit that bill to some extent, but not completely. Uh, but yeah, I, I, you know, these are these so far these two other parties, uh, the Green Party and uh, uh, the other one, the Free Democratic one. Uh, those two parties are similar to what we also have in the United States. Since the reunification of Germany in 1990, the East-West divide has narrowed, yet remnants of a divided Germany remain. Residual economic and social differences have forced German politics. Well, keep in mind, and I've, I've, I've talked about this, it, 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 when, when East Germany and West Germany were split, uh, and imagine if you grew up or were born in like 1946, 1947 in East Germany, and you grew up under a communist, you know, socialist uh, uh, government, and then... You're used to that. You live with it. You're, you 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 deal with it, and then all of a sudden, your country is unified with this free free market capitalist system, and it's thrust in you. That's going to change how thing how you're going to look at things, and uh, it's it's not like it was like a choice that you made that we voted for this. It was it was really thrust upon you because of the collapse of the Soviet Union. Now at least that's not how I saw it. Okay, because I remember. I was alive when when the wall came down, and I remember when East and West Germany came together. Uh, but it it felt like all of a sudden this free free market system that you weren't used to living in got thrust upon you. To become more fragmented over the past thirty years, the CDU and SPD have lost ground to parties on opposite ends of the political spectrum, including the far left Die Linke, literally meaning the left and the far-right Alternative for Germany, or AFD. The left's origins are rooted in East Germany's former Communist Party, right. and it enjoys especially strong support in the East, where some nostalgia remains for comprehensive, cradle-to-grave support from the state. Again, those are the people that uh, uh, were, you know, were used to life in that under communist rule under the Soviet Union. And so, yeah, I can see that. The AFD catapulted into the national spotlight in the wake of the European migrant crisis. These must be the far right people. Um, my guess is that, because I've, I've seen videos of, of I, I, I'm guessing here, forgive me if I'm wrong, but these are the far right. These are the ones who are uh, really, really are, are like the uh, alt right kind of people. Uh, I don't know. Are they violent? Are they, uh, um, you know, are they, these the neo Nazis? I mean, I I don't know. I mean, uh, I, but I know I've seen videos on these on, on the far right, and it is somewhat disturbing how they they look at things. It's highly controversial far right anti immigration platform has made it a political pariah, one that is traditionally shunned by all other parties in Germany. Yeah. yeah, I can understand that. I was, I said, I don't know enough about it, and I still need to learn a lot more as I'm learning about Germany. But yeah, that, that's those 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 are the far rights. Yeah, the the alt right people. Historically, the CDU and SPD have dominated post war German politics. Now, other parties from all ends of the political spectrum are challenging the status quo. 
again, and that's not really happening in the United States. You have the Republicans, you have some independents, Bernie Sanders, who is a socialist who uh, chemically caucuses with the Democrats, and uh, but but you have basically Republicans and Democrats in the in in the uh, Congress and in the uh, Senate. Well, as German politics become more diverse, it's important to know which parties there are, what they stand for, and how they work together in government. Yeah, I would agree with that. And I'm learning too. I mean, like I said, this is a. I, I know the United States put you know the, the three branches, uh, you know the executive, the judicial, and the legislative branches, but this is a little bit different. Okay, this is from the Bertelsmann Foundation. Uh, pretty pretty interesting. You know, like I said, short video, not very long, uh, but but interesting to know. Um, again, please click like, share, and subscribe for them, as well as for me. Just click on that little button that I'm pointing at right there. And uh, yeah, I, I enjoy this. This is just a good basic. I'm going to probably rewatch this video without doing a, this is the first time I've seen it. And so I'm probably going to do a, 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 a watch myself so I can familiarize myself with the German political system. This is pretty good. But, uh, you know, again, please, thanks for watching. I enjoyed this. Uh, have a good rest of your day.